Good evening, everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com and welcome. I thought I would go over Netflix. Good old Netflix. Love Netflix did an earnings uh, update on this last night. Uh, earlier in the day, yesterday morning, I thought I knew it would gap up. And so I was spot on about that. And I thought it would gap up to 375,400. Then the stock rallied. This was yesterday into the close over 350 which was an area. And I thought there was a possibility the stock could just gap up huge. I mean, <laughs> this is huge. But I mean, I thought monster, like Megalodon huge. But really, the, I, I was thinking the target was 500. But instead, it gapped up to 400 something. This was last night. The stock fell off a planet today. It absolutely just fell off a planet today. There was no stopping and it came down to this area here of support. Now, does this mean this chart is damaged? The answer is no. Does it mean Netflix is in a downtrend? No. Does it mean the stock got sold up pretty big? Yes. Uh, is the stock still okay? Yes. Is it still in an uptrend? Yes. The stock has just had a, a, an incredible, unbelievable, insane, crazy move in the last year. The Netflix really is the golden gap of the year. And I did say that when I sent an email out in the summer. The, the buy in this at 140 to get all the way up where you would take profits today in this, obviously, if you had taken this gap here. If you bought this gap here, this is a corrective gap if you bought it. You know, your profit up here in the earnings is $250, $260. So people took profits, and that's what they did. So the gap looks like this. Now, I, you still don't short this. I mean, I didn't short this today. I saw it going, and, and you can't buy it because, obviously, it's a, it's a failure. It's a failed bullish gap. But you just leave it alone. You don't do anything. Netflix is still fine, though. It, it really is still fine. It's still in an uptrend. This is still an amazing chart. Uh, let's just go look at the one minute here. There actually was no setup to ever buy this. So there was no setup to buy it today. And again, the idea of you know doing failures, which is a plane in the direction against the gap, is not something I do. But I can spot a failure. I just don't do them because it's going against the trend. The trend of Netflix is up. Netflix reverse swooshed, so you would immediately know not to do it, not to buy it. It was a failure, then it's a buy. High of here is 389. This is 930, 931, 932, 933, 934, 935. Netflix comes in basically $12 in the first five minutes. That is a reverse swoosh, even at this price point. You cannot buy this buy setup here. You can't take it. You can't do it. Here was a sell setup on this, confirmation of the failure. Actually, if you would shorted Netflix here, it, 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 the stop is huge. Stop, stop really has to be 386. Well, 385, no, it has to be 386. The spread of Netflix is, 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 this would have had to be 386. So the stop would have had to be 386. Would have been $3.25. Let me just figure this out here. So $3.25. And here you would have gotten out. Now I did go even longer. Three, 382.75. And it came down to basically 334. So that was $48 and 75 cents. And you could have lowered the stop all along. I mean, you would have seen here that it was broken. And again, I didn't do this. I just want to see what the profit in this would have been. The three and a half dollar stop. Man, if you'd taken 300 shares, you would have made over $14,000. <laughs> it, it's just you're playing against the trend here. So I just don't do this. But I certainly saw the failure. The failure is the reverse swoosh, so you don't buy it. The stock's in an uptrend, so I don't want to short it. But it was a bullish gap up failure that came in and came in down to a support area. And you can you can play failures when you spot them, but I just don't do that. I really only do true, true professional gaps, which are in the direction of the gap. And if I see them failing for some reason, then I just lay off. I don't take a trade. I don't do anything because I never want to be against the trend of institutional money. And all that happened here today was profit taking. Megalodon profit taking, though, I will say that. Uh, and, and it just continued all day. And this is why you don't, you know, look for climactics or buying retracements or bounces or anything even e still because this is profit taking in here. So there isn't going to be any bounce. It just drifted then on into the afternoon. Never, never even got back over 350, 340.
So we'll, I'm going to be watching this Netflix here and see what happens to it. It's down here overnight, too. This is gapping down pre-market, but I'm not going to look at this as a gap to do tomorrow morning. It's not a good bearish gap. Uh, there's a chance, though, that this can fall in tomorrow. In fact, it probably will. Let me just see here. Well, Netflix is at least going to come into 300 bucks tomorrow, but I, I think that's a mini target. I, th I think this could actually pull in all the way down here to 280, 280, 275, because it's going to, more people did, are going to sell off of this. And that's why it's gapping down pre-market, post-market tonight. A lot of people sold off on the day and then, and then more people will sell out of it tonight. And just, there's this still profit taking and that's what this is. But I think this could come in some more, you know, tomorrow. Again, this is not a quality bearish gap, but it was a failed bullish gap today. Netflix reverse swished, so you don't take it. You don't take any buy in it. And again, you see spot the failure immediately. One of the most beautiful things that I figured out in the market is a swoosh. And that's the reason I named my company the stock swoosh. One of these days, I'll have to do a webinar on the swoosh. I, I Gosh, I don't even know if I've ever done one. I don't think I have. Uh, so one of these days I'll do a webinar on the swoosh. It, it is it is an amazing thing that I figured out, and it helps you make money. And it also helps you n not lose. It helps save you money by seeing something like I would have seen in Netflix today, which, which I never would have bought it, even as a gap. So this is Melissa with the thestockswoosh.com. If you'd like more information on the upcoming gap class, it's this weekend, October 26th and 27th. Feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a fantastic evening.